I think it was not that easy decision to join G2 because sometimes you need to, you know, like you have to kind of believe in the roster um, that they are given that you will win. And, you know, it's not never easy because, well, sure you have some talented players, but you never know what will happen and how much you can actually bring to the team. Even in 2016 spring when I joined LCS, Afudiankos was a really good, like, really good jungler, probably like the best. He's one of these early gangs from Yankers, and these are a lot more impactful than the Nidalee ones. Well, first Blood King looking for more. Kick is already flashed Ooh. away. Flash forward by Yankos. Tower, he turned it over. Yankos does it. I, I liked the way he played. He played the game. Like he was, he's very aggressive and wants to push his lead. And he just I overall thought he was always a really good jungler. And when I played with him last year, I thought like, wow, he's really good. And then. There was times where I thought, wow, he's really clueless. But that was because he has never played on a team that was like successful. And I had kind of luxury of playing on a team that was successful. I feel like Jankos this year has actually like reached next level. I, I don't think there is a jungler who, who can even match him. I find him uh, as a good teammate. Because I think he's really good at the game and he's really funny outside of the game. When we met, I think that was like the first week or so, he, his way of breaking the ice was coming up to me, putting his head like this, and say, and he pulled the finger and then did like this. And then he farted. I was like, what the fuck? That was the weirdest shit ever. Seriously. But it was really hilarious. No, I have to get it. To, mm -hmm. to me, it's surprising when I say those other names at Selfmade is already in the discussion. Is there a jungler more important to his team than Selfmade? I don't think so. I think you can make the argument uh -huh. that other junglers that are better than Selfmade at all. <laughs> the I'm seven. not important. You should tweet a lot. I'm rank seven, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very important in solo queue. <laughs> okay. I do for sure think about winning a championship, but I don't do it under a shower or in bed. I just do it kind of when we win a game, I think about like, I kind of want to win the championship because I never won a championship before. And, you know, I, I won games in playoffs, I won games in regular season, but they actually don't matter that much. Um, but I did never leave the trophy. And I feel like with this team, it's really possible. I mean, every team I play on, I, I'm always very confident in the roster, but I feel like in this team, I have like the best shot I ever had in my life. Okay, yeah, that was fair enough. La 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 la. You guys have to warm up your voice, no? So you can make the calls. The game can be calls. Okay. La 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 Yeah, I'm behind him top. Yeah, I'm just gonna count his lane, I guess. Or something. I don't know. I think bot side Kartus. Yeah. Okay, bot. I go first. Yeah. yeah. Their bot can move somewhere. No flash. <coughs> I'll, 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 I'll drop. I'll drop. Is that? Okay, nice. Oh, shit. Okay, it's fine. We drop top. You have him? Nice. Yeah. Cannon. I'll DM, yeah. Look, this guy's in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming, coming, coming. Hey, yeah, no flash, no flash, no flash. I got, I got what you need, baby. Start the Chevy, I have W. Scene, baby. I'm chasing Sion. I can baby. chase, I can chase. Love yeah, love I have locket for you. Only. They're really in balance, Tanya, so what the fuck? Let me kill him. I will oh. just, just get the Nexus and he will not get it. I'm sorry. So far, it looks like I will be first compared to you. 
There is no cups on the boat. Do you see cups? Well, another day tomorrow. There's another game tomorrow. Do you see, do you see tomorrow. cups here? I don't see cups. There's another game tomorrow, guys. There's, I don't see cups here. Oh, yeah, it's Johnny Jack. It's Pets and Wunder. I'll see you one, too. Actually, I got mad life. I'm in Yuri Gamed. G2 2018 performance was quite. was not bad in the end. But the whole year, like throughout the whole year, it was like a lot of struggles and uh, it was quite hard to deal with. Jankos was really, I feel like he was really good in spring. I feel like he just didn't know how the game functions on a like bigger, like bigger picture than just like a early game patting and early game jungling and stuff. And. He was trying to take more of a leadership role as well in the team, which helped me a lot throughout summer splits. And I, I told me and Jankos were like, I told we had like learned a lot in spring split, and told me and Jankos were like so 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 fucking good together. And then there was some games where like I don't know why, but he was just running it down. He turned off his brain, and I turned off my brain, and then he would say something and do something like really stupid, and I would not call him off for playoff. I think. He played really well, and I think in Gauntlet, like he carried us really hard, and also he like really stepped up in the practice environment, and he taught us how to play early game. I don't think there is a huge reason why I'm performing better currently. I felt like in Spring Split last year I was playing very well, and I felt like in Summer Split we were playing too much of Final, and I was put on tanks a lot, so I was not. As used to playing my own game, but now since we have a very good players in our team, I'm I can choose my own champion that I want to play, and I feel like that suits me way more. So I can actually kind of know what I want to do in game and how I want to lead the early game, and that is why I think I'm performing better right now because not only I'm practicing normally and not final, but also um, I'm just I have more of a free will in or free hand in draft. But honestly, like, there was something, I don't know how to explain this, and it's easy to say after we lost, but there was something telling me that we might just lose to OG. Uh, I, I don't know why. I think everything was getting over, over my head, like, to me. For me personally, like, we've been, like, winning so much in screams. Like, I can't even, I can't even explain, honestly. Like, I really can't explain. Like, we barely lose games in screams. I, I honestly forgot how losing it feels like. So today when I lost, it felt like, wow, I lost, you know, and it feels like it stinks, but it stinks for like such stupid reasons. Like we were actually getting so cocky, but now that that's out of the picture, I have one thing less to worry about and one like stupid thing less to focus on. Now we can actually focus more on our preparation for our opponents and how I want to approach the draft and how I want to approach, like how I want to approach things I wouldn't say more serious because I don't think we disrespect our, our opponents. I just feel like we've been winning so much that we got to the point where subconsciously we just think we can pick these champs, these champs are good, and we can win every, every lane, every matchup, just win the game of snowballing lanes. It will for sure make us stronger. I think we will not only play better as a team, but, but be more aware of what is our win conditions in game because I felt like we were getting a little bit too cocky or too confident in ourselves but now Origin showed us that we are beatable and we have flaws that they can exploit. We, we will not do anything different, we will just keep practicing and keep improving and uh, I think we still have it in us you know, to, to be the best team in, in Europe.